Smell it. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexandria for those that are new here and welcome for those um, who are just here. So we are about to be redoing our bed. We are going to be removing this border, this little rubber border, and we are going to be putting stone in. So it's going to be a nice little weekend project. Um, for myself and the family so I thought that uh, you guys would like to be along so let's go ahead and get started There's already a good trench in there. the first thing we did was go ahead and pull back um, the border that was already there and then removed the uh, the little weed barrier that was there and that really gave us a nice little outline as far as how you know how big we wanted the bed and those stakes were just to make sure that it was even on both sides and then we went ahead and just kind of did a little rough outlay to see about how many bricks um, we would be using um, and that really just kind of gave us the outline because we wanted to cut as minimum amount of bricks as possible um, and then it was just a removal process from there. I have a spreader, I have to push behind, the walk behind spreader. Okay, good. Once we had a good understanding of like how we were going to lay everything out, we did end up using fill dirt um, and this step one paver base in order to build the wall. Now we use the fill dirt because our yard actually slants into a ditch. Um, which caused one side to be higher than the other. And quite honestly, the hardest part of all of this was making sure um, that that first layer was even as it was the base. Once that was together, everything else came really easily. Um, but this was definitely a task. Um, and the paver base we got from Lowe's and the fill dirt, I mean, it was just fill dirt, but we got that from Lowe's also. Um, and then when we use the leveler, we checked both ways. And then when it was just a tad off, um, that is how we kind of gave it that little bit more that it needed. This is where we were um, as far as the first row for the biggest part of the yard. I mean, we actually ended up only cutting two bricks. Well, that's not the part we wanted to no, pop off.
This is a close up of kind of how we made that whole bottom row. Um, we chose to build up on the soil opposed to digging deep down because the bricks were so large and as I stated, we're at a slope. So we wanted to be sure that you can see the whole brick and it really ended up working out. Once that bottom row was done, we went ahead and uh, laid the top layer, making sure to offset the designs and offsetting the corner pieces. Once we were happy with the placement of everything, we went behind and sealed and glued everything with the Loctite 500 landscape glue. Now our rose bed was way easier than the front of the house um, because it is doesn't really have the slope that the other side has. Um, so we made quick work of this side and it also did not require um, as much um, like of the step one or the soil. So we knew we wanted to build up some type of tower, but we weren't really sure how we were going to do it. Um, so we actually ended up just deciding to add two extra stones at the corners and then add toppers onto those. And it actually turned out amazing, um, opposed to having a rectangular tower there. Um, and then we used these toppers with the beveled edge that had a very nice, um, connection and color with the bottom towers. And then we sealed the toppers down the same as we did the layer below. We used the Loctite 500 landscaping glue and it really gave us that play that we needed um, because as you see, um, we actually ended up messing up and putting some too close. So we had to go back and we were able to get everything down the way it needed to be.
All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me this weekend. Um, this project did take us um, two days. We could have completed it in one day um, with the time given, but we had some other things sprinkled in, you know, like being parents and such. Um, but no, it was a lot of fun and I really hope uh, someone found this video helpful. Um, it really brings a lot to our uh, our curb appeal and we will be doing um, the landscaping and things um, in these beds and trimming up the roses on the other side. Um, but that will be for another video so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Um, I'm super excited about that because we've never really kind of done that. I've done annuals from time to time but we are actually going to be actually designing. Um, and just kind of making sure everything looks super nice. Um, I hope that, um, yeah, I really appreciate you guys sticking around and just dedicating your time to watch this video. Um, and there are lots more to go. If you found this video helpful or entertaining or what have you, um, just like the video for me if you can, please. It'll really help out um, me trying to grow my channel. Um, I'm also over on Instagram at Mama Breaking the Mold um, where I post um, more content over there. So if you'd like you can definitely follow me over there as well um, But I hope you guys are having a great day or night whichever one it is for you And we will be posting more videos coming here soon and we hope to see you uh, in the comment section there But you guys have a great day. Bye Hey, it's it's editing me um, so I just realized that we actually didn't even record us doing this stage of redoing the bed. Um, so what we did is we put a uh, crushed marble on the back end, used a little divider to separate the mulch and the stone. We did take out the weed barrier that was under the mulch and then we left some of the mulch to kind of help us build up the soil or build up the height of the bed um i went ahead and kind of pork chop those bushes or is it lamb chop hmm. not sure but i cut all the bottom leaves and things off the bottom and this is what it turned out to be um, i think it looks amazing and we love it we are going to add more flowers once the season changes and then we're going to put some rose uh, bushes on the white part but again, thanks so much for hanging out and checking out the video. Bye.